This is Andrews Air Force Base in Maryland. U.S. President Barack Obama greeted French President Francois Hollande here ahead of a state dinner at the White House Tuesday. The two presidents traveled to Virginia to visit the home of Thomas Jefferson, the third U.S. president. Jefferson called it Monticello, and while the reason behind the name remains a mystery, the site and the story of Thomas Jefferson are important for France and the United States. I thought this was an appropriate way to start a state visit because what it signifies is the incredible history between the United States and France. At a news conference at Monticello, Mr. Hollande spoke of the history and continued friendship. This bond that unites us through Jefferson, that these bonds are sustained over time because he represents values and principles. Freedom, human dignity, rights. These are the values for which we are continuing to fight around the world, the United States and France. The bonds between the U.S. and France go back to the U.S. founding fathers and even earlier to the U.S. Revolutionary War against Britain, which France supported. Thomas Jefferson is our most famous Francophile in the United States. He's known to have said that if he couldn't live in the United States, he would prefer to live in France. Leslie Bowman is president and CEO of the Thomas Jefferson Foundation, a nonprofit that has owned and operated Monticello since 1923. She says Jefferson's affinity for France dates to his time as U.S. ambassador to France. It's an endorsement by President Obama that for all the things that he could show President Hollande, he's chosen to bring him to Monticello. Bowman says that to truly understand Jefferson, one must pay a visit to Monticello even without a presidential escort. In Washington, I'm Arash Arabasadi for VOA News. And this is, imagine leveling a mountain.